and welcome. In this episode of Dr. Nora, I answer all of your questions about the Stemoscope and the Stemoscope Pro. up in my last video about the Stemoscope Pro, I had a lot of questions from you guys asking me what this was like compared to the original Stemoscope and whether or not this could be used for the hard of hearing and if it could be used whilst taking a manual blood pressure. Well, I have great news for you because I'll be answering all of your questions and more very soon. But just for those of you who aren't aware, so Stemoscope is a company that produces these tiny little handheld devices that can be used to auscultate or have a listen to heart sounds or body sounds without the need of the traditional stethoscope, for example, with the tubing. And this is the original Stemoscope, which as you can see, is a really small little cute white device which is really quite light in comparison to the Stemoscope Pro but this original first generation Stemoscope was not intended to be used for medical purposes. So this Stemoscope as you can see it's white it looks quite clean it has a diameter of the diaphragm of about 32 millimeters and it also just like the Stemoscope Pro has got a diaphragm a bell and an extended range when you are listening through the diaphragm on this side. It connects your mobile device using um, Bluetooth and it helps transmit those noises through to your device so that you can have a listen. The Stemoscope Pro Habit is their newest addition to their family and this is actually FDA approved, meaning that if you are a clinician or a practitioner in a healthcare setting, you can actually use this to have a listen to your patient's heart sounds, unlike the original Stemoscope. So this is now FDA approved and it is a lot more chunky in appearance. It's not that big actually in comparison. It doesn't feel quite so heavy, but the diaphragm is larger, 42 millimeters larger, which is actually quite useful for capturing those noises. Um, but it has got this really nice stainless steel, medical grade stainless steel, um, and glass cover over here so that if you are walking in the wards, if you put it in your pocket, it's hopefully not going to get too damaged. And you can also buy some accessories for it, such as a cover or even a lanyard clip so you can put around your neck, for example, if you want to. Now, the Stemoscope Pro has got a few different features to it. It does have the ability where you can listen to the heart sounds through your um, headphones, and this is probably the best way to listen to the heart sounds because it is much clearer, or you can actually transmit them onto your mobile device directly. However, you do lose some of the noises if you do do that directly, so it's better off if you are on the ward rounds, taking a listen to your patients, to have listen through your headphones. And to have listen to those sounds, it is recommended to use wireless headphones with silicon in earpiece so that you get the best sound out of your Stemoscope. Just like the Stemoscope, the Stemoscope Pro does also have a, the option of listening to the diaphragm, the bell and an extended range so that you can listen to all the different frequencies when you are auscultating your patients. One of the great features about the Stemoscope Pro is that you do have the ability to amplify sounds up to 100 times. Obviously, if you are amplifying noises up to 100 times more, you probably will start to lose a little bit of the noises there um, and you might start to get some interference. So you should really just find your happy medium. I did have somebody on the internet ask me if this was possible to use for somebody who's hard of hearing and I'd say certainly yes. I have tried this out and I've compared it to the Lippmann Core Digital and I have to say that um, there is very little difference in between the two and having the ability to amplify noises if you are slightly hard of hearing is an excellent feature to this Stemoscope. So yes, to answer your question, you certainly can use it if you are hard of hearing. So that's a quick comparison of the two features of the Stemoscope and the Stemoscope Pro. Let's take a listen to how they sound in comparison. Bearing in mind that if you are using it for clinical purposes, then really you should be going for the Stemoscope Pro. But if you're thinking of just having some fun with your friends, you might want to decide if you want to have the Stemoscope or the Stemoscope Pro. Let's take a listen and see how they compare. Now for this, you'll need to use the applications and for the Stemoscope, it does come with its own application and the Stemoscope Pro has its own one as well. I'm not entirely sure if you can integrate the two onto one application. I haven't quite worked that out yet, but I'm gonna use my original application for the Stemoscope and my new application for the Stemoscope Pro. And let's take a listen together and see how they found. So that you guys can take a listen with me, I'll be putting the sounds directly onto my iPad. I won't be using my headphones so that we can take a listen together and see how they compare. I have to say, just listening to those two side by side, the Stemoscope is um, Stemoscope Pro is by far more superior than the Stemoscope. Um, the sounds are just a lot louder on the Stemoscope Pro, even without any amplification. It just sounds crisper. It sounds clearer. It just is. It's so much better. It's actually a night and day difference. So that is really good, actually. I didn't realize that there was such a big difference between the two. Another thing that you guys asked me for was lung sounds, and I have got a video lined up for you guys, but I'm gonna give you a little sneaky peek with the Stemoscope Pro of how that sounds like. 
And with the great thing with the app is that you can change it. So not you're not using the heart field, but you're using the lung field over here. And we can just go ahead and record. Now, obviously, this is for the back. I'm listening to the front. So I'm just going to go ahead and say this is my front side of my chest. There we have it. So that is the lung sounds for you. Now, I'm going to hope to get some patients with pathology so that we can have a listen together at what a pneumonia sounds like, how sort of an asthma sounds like. So you can take a listen to a normal lung sound versus a lung sound with some pathology. I think that'd be really helpful for you guys um, and intriguing as well for you also. But there you have it. So that's a quick comparison between the Stemoscope Pro and the Stemoscope. Um, if I was going to choose one, obviously I might just go for the Stemoscope Pro because, well, I think it's significantly better in terms of its auscultation. The ability that it has to um, listen to heart sounds at a higher ampli amplification as well is, is actually quite extraordinary. Um, the quality is really comparable to some more leading brand stethoscopes out there, so that's, that's a plus from me. I guess the only downside from me, and probably why I'm not quite switching over to this just yet, is that you do have to have your um, headphones with you pretty much all the time when you are listening to this, and so that can be a little bit cumbersome for myself to carry around if I'm on the ward, and perhaps it's just a lot easier for me as a general practitioner just to whip out my stethoscope, which is all in one. But you never know, you guys might be slightly different out there. Perhaps you walk around with your headphones and you might just find it more convenient to bring this out rather than this big chunky thing. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Which one would you prefer to go to and which sound did you find was actually more clearer than the other? In my next video for you guys, I have a really special treat whereby I'm going to be testing this out again and I'm going to be having a look to see if you can take a manual blood pressure using the Stemoscope Pro. And I've also got a super duper treat, which will be the ultimate stethoscope review of all of my digital stethoscope, including the Core, the Bluetooth, Litman Bluetooth, and the Stemoscopes. And we're gonna be doing a full showdown of which one is the best, the best of all time. So please make sure you stay tuned for that. I hope you guys found this video useful and I'll see you on the next one. Take care and stay healthy.